Alright YouTubers, welcome to Farming Simulator 19 here on Midwest Horizon. It's late in the evening, but um, we're starting it on the same episode as the last, or I mean, you know, same day as the last episode. Got a load of wood chips here. We're going to go ahead and sell them real quick. Uh, we're going to sell. Okay. There it goes. A little slow. Start this bad boy up and let's get ready to roll it back. All we have to do is hit drive course. As you can see, my money is down. I had like 700 and something. I'm down to 500 and something. Well, there's... Yeah, I bought a few things. While we're waiting, let's go in the store. and Let's go to the garage. It's somewhere in here. I don't know exactly where, but it's in there. We got a lot of tractors, don't we? And semi-trucks. Uh, we got our bulldozer back, and it's over where, uh, where the trees are. We're going to be plowing. It works better. We got good tracks on it. Um, yeah, you see this right here? That's that's what we got. Uh, 517 horsepower, 24 mile an hour. 9.9 .9 meters and it mows at 26 mile an hour, folks. That's that's awesome. And of course, take a look at this, all the other stuff we got. I can't wait to get ready for a harvest, folks. Uh, I did plant some cotton. And of course, we got a baler. We got this baler too. We're going to try it first and try this. And we're going to need some big bales too, you know. Uh, but anyway, this is you know a lot of stuff we got here. Um, yeah, there's some other stuff I got. Good Lord, it's still this thing is slow. But anyway, and of course y'all know I owe my uncle seven million dollars. I really owe more than that because he just gave me two things. Yeah, one the more that you just sell. It's at the shop waiting. We just got to get it unloaded. And uh, he bought me a grass dryer. That's right, folks. I can dry my grass. So if I need hay, all I got to do is take the grass to there. So we really don't have to worry about the weather no more. He, he said, where did I move to? And I said, you know where I moved to. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, it rains all the time. I'm like, yeah. So far, it's been pretty good. Oh, good Lord. But at least we're up to 600000 now. Logs are better and faster. I can just sell them and go on. But it takes so many loads to get that money up there. Well, how y'all doing today, folks? Y'all doing all right? Oh, what? Really? Well, that's good. Oh, that's bad. Oh, uh, now that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Me, myself, I, I need to get out of the house a little bit more. I really do. I got to be like Mr. Yankee and just get out of my box here and just go make an adventure. I've been wanting to. It, it's just, uh, I had to put a wheel bearing in my truck. And uh, that wheel bearing costs $168 around the parts stores where I live at. But went online to A1 Auto, and I'm not doing no brand deals or anything like that. I'm just saying, I went to A1 Auto. They was out of California. I got my wheel bearing for $49 plus tax. And uh, Zach identical. I'll be right back. I love this pause button on OBS. It works wonders. Anyway, before I was interrupted by our ambulance service, well, it's not ours, it's, uh, you know, uh, the one that's in town, Pafford. Uh, they had a call going somewhere. Anyway, we're almost done with the wood chips. And as I was saying, the wheel bearing was cheaper. And plus, I didn't have to pay for shipping either. So that made it even better. It took about four days to get here, 
But other than that, it was awesome. I got it changed out. I don't know if I ever told y'all that or not, but yeah, I changed the wheel bearing out. Got my yard mowed completely. Pulled a stump up. I got a video of that. Ooh, we can go now. 80,151,000, folks. Wow. Up to 641. That's, that's, that's awesome right there, too. By the way, I say awesome a lot, also. All right, let's see what else we can get in. Let's jump out of here. Yeah, that's what I want. The Chrome 517Ti. Folks, let's check the inside first. We, we got to check the inside of this thing. Oh, oh, ooh, places to put my paperwork. Nice fancy joystick. Bunch of buttons to push. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 24V, 24 volt. I imagine so. Got a CB radio up there. Yeah, let's get this thing. Go. Oh, not too much of a buddy seat. Looks kind of hard. I bet it's a cougar for my lunch. Ah, right, it's, it's a good. Whoa, what? Oh, this backup camera. Okay. Ha ha ha! Backup camera. Awesome. As you can see, we only got three tenths of an hour on this thing. And it's this, uh, it's a beast, y'all. It's, it's what we're going to use, do our mowing with. Yeah, I got to get away from all these tractors. I'm kind of laggy right here. Well, I'm always laggy, but I got our beautiful green beasts over. Oh, don't, yeah, oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I call a lag right there, folks. Oh, wow. All right, we got... I really need to wait till a bailer gets here. I don't want you to follow me, but for right now, we're just going to unfold this thing. Let's see, also, uh, today is October the 14th in real life, and this morning, about 9 o'clock this morning, I had to go to ABC school and Head Start school and do a fire prevention thing for them, tell the little kids about fire and stuff. All right, we working here? There we go, we're laying the grass out. Oh my god, at the dust. Woo, look at that big old pile of grass. Now, I don't need some hay. So, I don't know. Well, we're going... Well, <laughs> I'm getting all tongue-tied. Hang on a second. Let's, let's look at this real quick. Uh, scoot over one. Let's right, say so today is here. Then we got Sunday... Then we'll, oh, that's Sunday. And then Monday, it's going to rain. So I'm just going to go ahead and mow this whole thing. And, um, yeah. As far as the pickup, I don't know. We got several different things we need to do. I got to come in here and clean this hedge bush area. It looked good when I get down. I got another map of Midwest uh, where I done it on it. Let's see here. Let's turn them over off. We're just going to lift this up. Just lift the wings up just a little bit so we can look under and stuff. Shut this off. I always want to make sure your equipment shut off if you can before you get under it. All right, folks, I apologize. It's laggy. I don't know why it's laggy. I know why, because my computer ain't the best. been having some problems with it. We had a storm the other day, and electric... I mean, it wasn't even no wind or nothing, and the 
lights that went off. The power went off, and I'm like, oh, no, not my computer. Now, I didn't lose anything, but I think it took a turn on it. Look at those blades up in there. Whew. I hate to be around that thing. And I'm going to run over to this other tractor, and I'll be back in a second. All right, I got this thing going. This is what I want to show you. all This is going to be our small bales. There's my phone. Y'all gonna have to count that one of these times. See just how many. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, it'd help if I lower it. Yep, that would help. Now, this is just gonna be hopefully like grass bales for the sheep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta back up a little bit. Gotta back up. I'm just testing this out. We'll probably just stick with the big baler. I don't know which side to get on. Let's stay with this side, I guess. And we'll come back. That's picking it up, but... Uh, Figure we made a bell by now. Any of y'all use this? This is my first time using it. So this is a new piece of equipment. It's, it's new to me anyway. We're almost a little over half of a one. I really like using these older style tractors. They just got the 49.55 here. Let's see if it's spitting out a bell yet. I look like it's got one in the chute there. I'm trying to watch this and watch my driving too. Alright, it's done made one bell and it's pushing it out, so. I don't know how many it's got to have before it starts doing it. Seen Squad, uh, was it Squad Farms? Use this and uh, Spencer TV. So hopefully, um, I got to show y'all the dryer too, the grass dryer. Um, it's kind of, it's like over by the market shop. My uncle had it put in and everything. He don't own nothing. He, he just want to know what type of ground I own. And, and I told him, you know, I don't know if I even told y'all, but I own the land to the, uh, I don't own the, the actual setup. It's just sitting on my land. And that's uh, south, south of the market? Or, I mean, the dealership? Okay, I should have uh, actually, oh, there goes one bell. Um, what is it doing? Ikidoki. All right, our tractor's made it to the shop, and my game. Oh. So I said the game just froze, but I guess it auto saved. Well, y'all seen it here, folks. Y'all seen it here first. A flying, or whatever you want to call it, bale. Levitating. It's supposed to come out the back, shoot in the trailer, and the trailer is supposed to auto load them. 
Tabbed it. I'll pick up more of this grass here and see what it actually does. Okay. It went in the trailer. I'm going to do one more. Just to see. Yeah, it's not too big of a pickup area. I'll leave them quite a bit behind. So I see right now we'll probably just get rid of this thing because one, it's slow. Two, it's weird. Floating bales, really. There goes another one. That supposed to be it actually shooting back there or I know what it looks like, but it, it should just go straight on without stopping and then fall in. Oh, we're back already. And I hit the bridge and I jackknife. My driving's bad today, folks. All right, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm going to do one more, maybe. Can I unload this thing? Unload Baylor. Whee! Ah, that went on around. Let's see if I can back up. Yeah, never mind. Can't back up. Can't back up. Let's see here. Let's, whoa. I don't know how my speed got back up. Can we pick this up? Yes, we can. How much? What? Well, it set it there for a second. All right, I guess this... All right, 1,500. Yep, 1,500. Okay, so these bales ain't going to keep because I thought this was an auto-load trailer. Oh, man. Well, we got stuff to take back to the shop. Uh, sell back to the people, that is. All right, we're going to fold this up. We're going to pull it over here. We're going to drop that trailer. Yes, I know y'all are blocking each other. Alright, we're just going to park this right here for now. Let's uh, hop out and go to this guy first. And stop driver. Where's the other one that's blocked? Oh, that's the wood chip area. But folks, this is our baler that I bought. And it's a square baler, and I got it set to 8,000 liters instead of 4,000. Now, I don't have to use this tractor. But, uh... Yeah, it's just, it's one of those things, folks. I think what I'm going to do is turn the swath off on the mower. Now I have to wait a little bit. I don't know how long. Probably won't be in this video. But I can go ahead and make some grass bales, but what I really need to do is try to dry her out. Now let's go to this guy, get him off real quick. Ah, yeah, stop driver. You are blocked, ain't you? I don't know why I cleared that course out. 
Um, over there is corn planted. You can watch the last episode. You see that. Um, I want to show y'all something. I don't know if I showed y'all on Long Oak or not. But there's a sign pack out. Whoa. Oh, the speed. See right there? Cotton. Mid-spring. I was going to put the date on it, but at least we know it was mid-spring. And if we go into here and look, mid-spring is going to be one of these days right here. So it's actually the same day. It's the, what, the sixth day? I'm on plant probably on the second day of early summer and the fifth day of midsummer. It might even do late summer. Probably like day seven of late summer. Plant some cotton. Because I'm just testing. This is a test spot. Uh, I think I stopped right here. Although it looks like, I guess because it wasn't worked up. We got little stubbles. So yeah, it's like it all the way across here. I don't know. We'll find out pretty soon. Oop. I hate when I do that. So basically, I can still go around these because this ain't planted right here. This, uh, from that sign up to the tractor there. That's when the tractor and stuff still sitting in the sprayer. But if you look up here, all the equipment and stuff is pretty much gone except for the tractor and the chipper and the bulldozer and, of course, this truck. The other truck should be getting to the sawmill. I bet you I didn't reset them. But we got our Joe box right there. And just in case y'all haven't seen it, I'll show it to y'all here in just a second. Now this episode, don't feel like I'm getting anything done, but it's basically just catching y'all up a little bit. We're going to still take down some more trees, but I'm just going to go down the row. All the way down, then come back down, then go back. Y'all get to him. But anyway, whoa, I gotta slow that speed down. There's a B. Oh, what did this say? Right there. Activate. The laptop comes out, and you put a tractor or something in the red spot, it'll turn green, and then you can come over here. And work on it, fix it, whatever you want to do. That's pretty neat. I had it on the back of the semi, but I guess I forgot to strap it back down. Um, What else I need to show you? I need to go to the dryer. And of course, it's going to save. Hmm, that was a pretty long auto save. Let's go to right here. Uh, that's the name of it. We're going to visit. I know y'all seen this on Mod Hub. If y'all ah, sorry folks, my speed. But uh, you put the bells in here, and you come over here, and hit this two little green buttons right there, and an arm or something pops up, pulls the bells in, and then over here. Is a platform that lets down. Let's see here. B. Turns the machine on. It's got to be on to take the grass. But uh, you fill the grass up there. And it'll dry and turn into hay. And it comes out right here. Now, as far as this part. I don't know what this is for. Ah, that's where you open the menu. Right there, you, you can see its capacity is ooh, 100, 1 million liters. 1 million liters output. 
So, yeah. I don't know what the time is on the drawing, but we don't have to worry about uh, wet grass dr drying it and stuff like that. But as far as this spot here, folks, I own all this, but these tanks and stuff belongs to the Ago place here, whatever it's called. They ain't been getting very much business, but we're going to we're going to change that for them. There ain't nobody here. But this is my tractor over here. We've been uh, mowing. Uh, this is uh got special blades on it. It don't leave no heaps of grass or any grass behind it. Mulches it all up. And uh, we're going to get these thicker bushes out of here. Clean this place up. And get it some more business coming in. Um, put a lime thing up. over. Well it's a. I'm going to use it for lime mostly. But you can actually get anything you want from here. Um, yeah. Uh, but this is our lime truck. Y'all seen that? Couple 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 episodes back where we limed our fields with the John Deere spreader but as time goes we're going to put other stuff in here that's kind of related to this place got a name but there's the scales you know we'll, they'll take care of all the paperwork and stuff I don't see no name on it so I don't know but it's where we be selling our grain at too. And uh, they haul it off by truck. So, yeah. But anyway, let's see here. Let's fire this bad boy up and show y'all this mower. It's John Deere. Oh, it's. Yeah. The John Deere HX15 Flex Wound Rotor Cutter. No grass drop. I put the no grass drop in there so I can tell them apart because there's. Two different kinds, so yeah, this thing lower down. Yeah, it's turning on. As long as you go slow, it's okay. But if you get going too fast, this thing starts sliding uh, like I slide mud. So I got it set to three mile an hour. That's a little too slow, but we can speed up. About seven, it's about right. Don't want to go too fast and hit the fence, you know. But we're gonna, I'm gonna get the guys and girls down here and help clean up this place and get it back. We're gonna get grain and stuff going to it, and we, we gotta fix our community up, you know. Get a little smaller more in here or something, we'll get in the corners. And we'll probably clean this pond out a little bit. The tracker or mini excavator or something. Get these bushes out on the banks. And just fix it up. Yeah, this thing's working pretty good. I, I like it. All right. We got just a few more minutes left. So let's go show y'all. The next piece of equipment. I, I gotta get to the farm shop, so so I'm just gonna shut it off here. Leave this here for right now. I'll be right back with the other piece of equipment. All right, folks. I brought the 4960 up here. It's got 220 horsepower. This thing calls for 240, so I wasn't taking into consideration of that. But as you can see over here. We have some grass to pick up. I mowed this, uh, well, earlier this morning. All around that. So, see, this actually, I own all this land, but I don't have the uh, rights to the buildings and stuff, so. And Sheriff's Office is talking. Um, interrupt my video. That'll be alright. Yeah, we're going. I don't just ain't realistic right here, is it? 
This ain't going to be quite realistic. That's going to be long oak for arms, folks, if y'all want to be realistic. That's on there. And plus, this thing holds one million liters. So if this thing gets full, I don't know really what I'm going to do. It pulls are pretty good right now. Oh, I missed some. I'll come back and get that. There's some there, too. But what I'm going to do is pick all this up. And when I get over there, I'll pop back in. When I get over there, I'll pop back in. And when I dump this, I will pop back in. And then we'll be done with this episode, okay? So it's probably about 31, probably about 35 minutes long. So I'll be right back when I get on the other side. All right, that's what this side looks like behind the dealer. Whoa, got the trees. There goes my phone. I need to really put that on vibrate when I'm recording, don't I? But anyway, yeah, this is uh, this side. I mowed all this with the big, big M. Yeah, the big mower we just I just showed y'all. And a little stretch down through there. I don't know if I'll be able to get that with this big thing. But we're going to try. But let me uh, get this and I'll be back in a second. All right. I'm working on my last strip here. I done got down through there. Around the, I think, the wool place. And I went over here. And uh, this needs to be... Really, it needs to be leveled up a little bit for them, somehow. And I got around the gas station on the north side there. Now I just got to get this side. Can I get all of it? Can I get all of it? Yay! But this is all I mowed. And I didn't, you know, I mowed it with the big mower, testing it out. Uh, we got all, I think we can even mow that side. Let me take a look real quick. Let's see. When you go to this end, nah, auto save got me. And don't look like, because we got, that's across the ditch there. So we don't own that yet. That's, uh, 114,000 just for that strip. And you get fill 82 with this little strip here. 165. So, not really worried about them. Now, this field right up here. These two fields, I might end up buying. Because they're grass fields. And we might use them for a hay. But, um, yeah, we own them. So, uh, right here is our little square. 73. Come down here, there. Now I'm 13. You see right there where I got corn planted. Here's the soybeans. And I got cotton from there to here. Uh, that's just where it was last time. I, I don't have all that planted. So, yeah. Anyway, well, let's go. Let's see. Let's turn this off. Raise that up. And fold. Let's go dump this grass. And now, thinking about it, I could bring the other mower in here and mow this area and get the grass off it. I did not think nothing about that, folks. I wonder if we were to do a moisture check on it. <laughs> right up here. Now, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I do want to, yeah, liven this place up. Do something about the retention pond there. And mostly the ponds like that are, they serve two purposes, but that would be more of a purpose of a fire. The fire trucks can come in and dip a, it's called a hard suction hose over in that and pump to the truck and then they can attack the fire. So that's a good thing to have. And I think I left it on, didn't I? Yeah, the thing's out. Good. 
All right, we're going to dump this in here. And I'm going to try to get an estimate on how long it's going to take to turn that. We got... Oh, shut up. Um, we got 90,785 liters. 9% of this wagon. Ain't that something? 9%. Do you want to do it while I'm out? Yep, yep. Oh, it started working right away. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't never get next to power equipment while it's working. And, Uncle, if you're watching, thank you. He bought and had this set up for me, folks. Along with the mower. I bought the bale. He, he bought the, uh, the mower for, he said, early Christmas present. Let's see, what was that on? Ah. 90,785. I don't know. We can see. I, I can't back it out. I think that's this static display. All right, Tragic. You, you, you need to get out of my way. Let's go over here. See if we. Um, how did I do that? Oh, I had it right there. Input and output is hey. Oh, right there to the left, folks, in the yellow, the yellowish box. Uh, three thousand liters every hour. Ooh, that's not bad. But it's not good either. Three thousand liters every hour. Okay. Um. So now we have to do. <laughs> We're about the electric bill to this thing. It's, it's no fuel for it. We're just going to have to... Uh, thought about putting some solar panels up. Um, make like a solar panel farm. That way it help pay for their electric too. It's kind of like, you know, giving back. Um, yeah, so... We need to come in here and mow this grass, so... All right, folks, that's going to include this episode. I'm sorry y'all didn't get to see the Udden doing very much work, the mower. But you will see it in the next episode. And speaking of the next episode, I know it's going to be long, though, because I'm going to record it here in a minute. But I might have a problem here in a few days. Uh, it might not be, so if you don't... You see a video, and you know, I've recorded a video and uploaded, don't think nothing about it. But if you don't see a video, it's going to mean I didn't have time to upload one, and I'm really, really sorry about that. But uh, some things I got a trip that I got to make to Jonesboro. Uh, well, it's for my mom's doctor, just to check up. <coughs> Excuse me. Note to self to cut that out of there. Anyway, now I got a uh, pretty much the same place. This is a different building. And I got to have a echo scan of my heart again. It's just a checkup. Don't get scared. Don't get worried. It's, it's just a checkup. I don't know if y'all know or not, but earlier in the year, or was it, it was late last year, it was October the 8th, 2018. Yeah, October 8th, 2018. I had a second light heart attack. Uh, the second one I had so far. I don't forgot which way. I'll go this way. Probably closer. But anyway, my first one was when I was 28. And you know, I'm 40. Uh, I was 41 when I had it, wasn't I? So, yeah, 28 and was one time, and I was 41 years old when I had the sudden. It was October 8, 2018. But anyway, it was just a light heart attack. They did find some light. <coughs> okay. And. 
that I forgot where I was at from coughing. Anyway, uh, it wasn't enough blockage there to do anything with, so, you know, I had to go on a strict diet, losing some weight, which I have lost. I lost about 13 pounds since then. That's not much, but, hey, I'm, I'm trying. Oh, man, I forgot. 4960s don't do course play. I might take this guy out there myself. I think I can pull it with the pickup truck. Anyway, let me pull over. Yeah, I had to drive the tractor all the way over here. I forgot about that. How did I forget about that? <laughs> but anyway, everything came out in the wash. You know, I'm all good now. Uh, ain't nothing wrong. Well, there, you know, there's blockage. There. There's always something wrong there. But uh, how can I say this? Uh, I'm not good at talking about this stuff. I'm good as long as I keep my diet going and, you know, keep losing some weight. Um, just watch what I eat and stuff, you know, lay off that fast food, and especially Sonic. Whew, tear me up some Sonic. But anyway, I, I done forgot what date. It's sometime this week. Yeah, this is Monday. It, it, it's not the 14th, it's the next Monday, next week, I have an appointment. And uh, it's just an echo scan, it's nothing to it. I'm not worried about it. I think it's good. So, um, the only thing I really have problems with, I've been having some light headaches here lately. And, you know, my back, I got a pinched nerve in my back. But other than that, I'm hunky dory. So, uh, nothing to worry about. I'm just wanting to let y'all know, in case you didn't see a video. Hey, you know, this is what's going on. I want to be honest with y'all. I don't want to be uh, just making stuff up or anything. I just want to be flat out honest. And uh, also, don't forget, I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to try to do a live stream well, just me sitting down. Uh, hopefully, all y'all can come in and ask questions and stuff. It's going to be like a live stream Q and A. Um, so leave some comments down below, or uh, questions and stuff, or whatever you want to know. Uh, I'm going to write them down, just in case y'all don't come in the room when I do the Q and A live. I'll, I can still say, hey, you know, like, Colin Jones wants to know what's my favorite fast food place. Of course, I just told y'all Sonic, but y'all know what I mean, right? Hope so. Let's see, market to main farm. Guy, of course. Stop at the last. And now we're good to go, folks. Hopefully. But anyway, I took up enough of y'all time. I didn't want it to be this long. 45 minutes. Oh, Lord. We're shooting for 30. Folks, y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I'll see you next look. <clears throat> next episode. Sorry about that. Oh, God, bro. Y'all have a good one. Bye.